Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick test of the Epic HE150 subwoofer driver, the small five and a half inch one. Uh, I was modeling it in a couple different enclosures with some passive radiators and I thought I um, would just see what it could do with this amplifier. It's the Dayton DTA 2.1. This is the older one. I also have the newer one, but same output. It's I think 50 per channel and then 100 for the sub. But I just wanted to see what this could do to power this. And I was pleasantly surprised. Now I'm only running it with one of the coils. It's a dual 4 ohm coil setup. And I'm only running it on one of the 4 ohm coils. But just to show you what it can do, uh, I am powering it with this. Uh, this is a Marlin P. Jones signal generator. I did a little video on that a while back. This has a pretty um, powerful output though. But let me just show you. I was actually kind of surprised that this little amplifier was able to drive this subwoofer at such high excursion. Starting out at around 10 hertz. That's kind of why I wanted to test it to see if this amp could actually run this sub as a 0.1 of a 2.1 system. I didn't think it was going to do that good of a job, but it did pretty, pretty well. I was surprised. Well, let me shut up now. It's starting to get interesting. So here, have a listen. like it's pretty close to the X-Max. I'll bump the volume up just a bit and uh, see if I can bring it to its maximum excursion. just wanted to show you some of what this thing could do. I did a little video on it before but I didn't really uh, put it through its paces. I'm modeling this right now in a few different sizes. Right now a, a 10 inch cube with a couple of Dayton Audio 8 inch passive radiators on either side. Looks pretty promising but maybe more to come. We'll see. That's it for now. What?